Walgreens once again, round two at Walgreens. We're gonna do some Unilever deals. Uh, I bought that Tresemme and I had a little trouble. Um, it didn't track for that Unilever deal, spend 30, get $10 back that Walgreens advertised in their ad. So I had to put in a ticket and I did that today. They gave me back $15 for my first $30 and for the Unilever deal. I'm hoping it gives us more than one particular time to do the deal. It did in the past, so I'm hoping it'll do it again. I'm gonna pick up four of the degree um, deodorants priced at $6.49 at my store. Every two you buy, you get a $4 on Walgreens cash. I'll pick up eight of them, well, I'm sorry, four of them, and we'll get back $8 on Walgreens cash. For four of them, that's $25.96 at the $6.49 price at my store. I'm going to use two of the three off of two digital uh, insert coupons from the Unilever. I don't want to no worry about the necessary. digital because I want to use registry rewards. I don't want to worry about if the registry rewards are going to knock out the digital. Plus, I'm going to use two $5 registry rewards. So altogether, I have $16 in coupons. Usually with the three off of twos, one will attach to one item. The second coupon will attach to the second item. And then I have two registry rewards that should attached to these two items so let's subtract six dollars that'll bring our total to 1996 and then subtract the two register rewards i'll pay 996 out of pocket but i'll Ace end up getting eight dollars in walgreens cash for the degree four dollars walgreens cash for every two five dollar walgreens cash for spending 20 and then we can redeem on our bottle for two separate rebates of a dollar 25 for each item and that is five dollars back on our bottom. Next, I'm gonna pick up two of the big gelosities. Um, we have that five dollar off of two coupon. They are two forty nine. Well, two ninety nine, and that'll be five ninety eight. I'll pay the ninety eight cents out of pocket, and I'll just use cash rewards to make that free. I've decided to add in two more, well, four Tresemme products two shampoos and two conditioners at $4.99 and use the paper coupon and the digital coupon like I did in my first deal Sunday. And this will be everything right here. I'll go over everything in detail when I complete my purchase because in store the music's playing and I don't want to get copyrighted. But I should pay with points and get $21 in points back. Plus I should spend $21 out of pocket. I'm also going to pick up the Crest baking soda and peroxide whitening toothpaste it's $2.49 buy one get one 50% off and when we buy two we get a four dollar register reward I seen that on shop with Sarah on Instagram so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try the three off of two digital attaches to that and let's purchase and see what happens I'm gonna pick up one of the Scott paper towels you know we have that dollar 25 in the IVC booklet that makes that 375 so I'm gonna grab that I also have a that's rewards if I buy a Scott paper towel and a toilet paper, I get a thousand points. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And there's the Scott toilet paper. Same thing, use that IVC coupon in the monthly booklet, makes that 375. Now I'm gonna try this deal again. Buy four select products that's in this promotion. And the item's priced at $4.99 and get a $6 registry reward. I'm gonna pick up three of the Charmin and use the three off of three digital on the app. My fourth item I'm going to pick up is the Tide detergent priced at $4.99 and I'm going to use a $2 digital on the app. Okay, here's my midweek haul from Walgreens, probably the last big haul. And as you can see, I did the Tresemme deal and the Degree deal twice because the first time it messed up and let's go over that. Okay, here's my first Tresemme deal. Now everything basically went as planned. I didn't have any problems with the digitals coming off and I use majority paper coupons, but my spend 20, get $5 cash reward did not attach to my deal. The computer froze for, I wanna say about five minutes. Uh, probably, it just kept freezing up and we really didn't know altogether, it was about five minutes. By the time my receipt came out, it must've kicked out my spend 20, get the $5 cash rewards. So you know I had to do it a second time. Here's my receipt for the first purchase. You'll see all of the items I picked up. There are my coupons. I used a $4 paper coupon for the first set of Tresemme, two paper coupons for the degree, and a $4 digital for the second set. 
the two five dollar register rewards are um that's what those are right two register rewards and remember i didn't need a filler item because usually when you have a three off of two a digital or paper coupon it usually attaches to one item so as you can see here i had two four six coupons i have two four six eight items which means i usually do not have to have a filler item because the coupon will attach to each particular one that's how it works at walgreens my subtotal was 21.92 379 was my tax 2571 was my purchase after coupons as you can see here i had 10 18 19 20 21 23 24 25 dollars in coupons which means i met the spend threshold requirement with my coupons which allowed me to use points for the remainder of my purchase I used twenty dollars cash rewards, as you can see here, and I paid five seventy one after tax. And then, as you can see right here, I did get sixteen thousand points, which was four dollars in cash rewards for every um, two items. Because for every two you bought, you get four dollars cash rewards, and I got two hundred and fifty everyday coins. I did upload my receipt to fetch rewards and i got ten thousand four hundred and fifty nine points and as you can see there my subtotal is 2571 i point that out because it was a little different with my second purchase and then i did upload my receipt to ibotta and i got my five dollars for the four rebates right here but it only counted as two separate rebates um for $1.25 on each of the degrees back. That meant this was a, uh, I wanna say $14 money maker because the final cost after, well, maybe $13 money maker, the final subtotal was $21.92. So it was $1.92 that was left over that I actually paid for this particular transaction. Now for my second transaction, I used all paper coupons because of course I used the digital the first time. And here are all of those items. And those are all of my paper coupons, except this time I used a $4 register reward instead of two five. My subtotal was $22.93, $26.71 after tax. I used $20 cash rewards and paid $6.71. As you can see right here, I got back the $16 in cash rewards for purchasing um, four sets of every two, you get $4 cash rewards. I got $5 cash rewards for spending 20 and 250 everyday coins. And it, I don't know why it didn't come off the first time, but it didn't matter anyway because I did get back my $10,459.59, or rather 10,459 points on Fetch Rewards for doing this deal. And as you can see right here, it was a separate deal, $26.71. Now, it only allowed me to do the deal twice on Fetch Rewards. It did not um, pop up a third time for me to do. And that's fine. My husband has a Fetch Rewards. So I'm going to go do a couple of more deals with the Tresemme. And use. I think the first deal I did Sunday with the Tresemme and the toothpaste where I didn't have to use any register rewards. I just rolled points. I think I'm going to do that a couple more times and then redeem on um, fetch on his fetch and get the 20,000 points for the you spending 30 on the Unilever deal. You get 10,000 points back. The crest deal that I seen on shop with Sarah. Now, sometimes um, the reason why I said see if it works because really my area is crazy. When I first did the deal, the registry award did not print out. I had to go to a different store, a different register. I don't know what's up with the Catalina machines, but the $4 registry reward did print out for buying the Crest, priced at $249, and the second one is $124. That left you a subtotal of $0.73 cents after the three off of two digital. I used $1 in cash reward because after tax, you're over a dollar, paid four cents, and got back that $4 registry war and i'm going to repeat that deal over and over until all of my coupons are gone that is a great deal the bic 
if you did not clip it Sunday, it is gone. And I only clipped it twice. So I went on ahead and bought these. And they are priced at $2.99 each. That's $5.98. After that $5 digital, it was $0.98. Cents. After tax, I used $1 cash reward and paid $0.47 cents for both of these. I think that's a pretty good deal for those. The last deal up is my Scott paper, toilet paper and paper towel, the Crest, the three Charmin, and the Tide. Now for this deal, I purchased it all at one particular time. You'll see my two Crest right there, buy one, get one half off. The three Charmin, the Tide, and the Scott products. And the $1.25 monthly booklet came off of those. There are all my digitals, my three off of two Crest, my three off of three Charmin, and my $2 digital for the Tide. And you will always see the e-coupons. Those are digital coupons. My subtotal was $23.19, $25.97 after tax. I used $20 cash reward, paid $5.97, got back the $4 registry reward for purchasing the crest, and my $6 registry reward for purchasing four of the items priced at $4.99. That's listed in that group. And then I just went on ahead and picked up the Scott toilet paper and paper towels. It's a super cheap price, and I redeemed on Fetch for my dollar back. 1,000 points equals a dollar. With the second set of Tresemme, now if my Ibotta resets for the degree, I'll just submit my receipt and get an additional $5 for, for that. Right now, that's probably a 7 or $8 moneymaker right now. Hopefully, my... Um, degree will reset sometime today and I'll be able to submit for that. And if you have not signed up for Ibotta, this is a great time to do so. Just download the app, use my referral code in the description box. You'll get $10 back. Um, and you can, oh, and when you get to $20, you'll be able to cash out. I was going to say you can cash out. I was thinking about Swagbucks. You cannot cash out until you get to $20, but that is a great start to um, sign up and you'll automatically get that $10. I think when you scan your first receipt, you'll be okay. And sometimes they give you a $2 or $25 cents and points i'm not absolutely sure but when you upload any receipt you do get something back so go ahead and do that if you have not downloaded the ibotta app same with fetch rewards and any of the apps that you see in the description box if you box if you haven't downloaded them please do so and if you want use my code and this is it for me for walgreens the big haul last big haul that i'll record of course i'll go back and do some crest and some more Tresemme, but I won't do the um, a video for those. I'd like to thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Till then, peace.